Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with your casual keyboard guy. Um, today's lesson is going to be on a song titled So Amazing by Luther Vandross. Uh, very beautiful song, um, not too hard to play. So I'm be able to, um, should be able to teach you this guys this song in under 20 minutes, hopefully. I'm trying to get my videos a little bit shorter so people can watch them more. <laughs> but anyway, um, this song is being sponsored by my subscriber, Kathy. Thank you for donation, my friend. And um, let's look at this. Um, you know, like I always say, like, share, subscribe, show your boys some love. And also, um, you know, I say that every video, but um, you don't, you guys don't understand how much liking a video, leaving a comment or, you know, um, sharing the video helps the channel a lot because I do get, you know, you know, some donations from the channel. You know, it's not much um, compared to how much time and effort I put into, you know, trying to make this channel really good. And I'm also upgrading this channel um, within the, the week. So, you know, guys just the simple liking and, and commenting and sharing really helps me out. So please, please, please. Anyway, let's uh, get into this. Y'all know me, I'm gonna play through it a little bit and then I'll break it down, break it down. Let's go. It's a little intro. Change key. So that's pretty much the whole song, guys. Not too much going on. So let me uh let's get into this. So um and when we modulate, I'll change the key um in my software. So <clears throat> so you starting off the song with this like a B over D flat or D sharp. So that's essentially what the chord is doing. You're pretty much doing the D sharp um bass. And you're doing a B triad. So I got the F sharp, the B, and the D sharp, okay? And basically what you're doing is you're going between these two chords and like this uh, E major 9. So essentially you're doing, like I said, the D sharps in your left, and you got the 
F sharp, B, and the D sharp in your right. And then you're going to really just add the G sharp when you go to the E. Okay? So you got the pretty much the same chord as the this chord, but you really just add in the G sharp when you go down to the E. It makes this an E major nine. Okay? So you didn't just arpeggiating that. So essentially like Going through those two chords, the um, D sharp, oh, uh, B, uh, B chord over D sharp. You got the E major nine. Okay, that's the chord. F sharp, G sharp, B, and D sharp. Okay. And then the last chord is going to be a uh, D sharp nine sus four. So it's D sharp in the bass. You got a G sharp, a C sharp, and a, a, a F. Okay. That takes you to the song. So, all right. And now we're into the song. You got a B major add to. And this is the first verse. So, I'm doing this like uh, a B and an F sharp in my left, and I got B, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp in my right. Okay? I got to. All right, the first chord. Got to. Truly. Whatever you're saying. So you got the second chord is going to be the G sharp and the D sharp, and then I got the F sharp, A sharp, B. And then a D sharp. Okay, so let me do the right hand. There's a lot of stuff jumbled on the screen. Then I got the left hand like this. So all together, it's a G sharp minor nine. Okay, so first chord B major add two, then G sharp minor nine, and I got the one and the five in my left hand, which I do a lot in my songs. Just to help you, you know, kind of fill out the chord sound. Especially if you're playing with a bass player, you don't want to be running the bass. You could just do like a, if you're going to hit the bass note, don't move with it. Just, you know, kind of hold it down and it'll be okay. Okay. So then we got, uh, um, D sharp minor seven. So we got, uh, D sharp in the bass. Then we got F sharp. A sharp and C sharp in the right hand. Okay. And then we're going to do that um, E major 9 that we learned. Same thing. The E is in the bass. F sharp, G sharp, B, and D sharp in the right. Okay. So. Go back to the D sharp minor nine, uh, minor seven. Okay, and then you're gonna do this. It's gonna be a C sharp minor seven. So you have a C sharp in the bass, and you gotta have an E try it in your right E, G sharp, and B. Okay. Okay. And then from here, so let me just go to the side over so you can see it. to the, e, the D sharp minor, the C sharp minor. Now we're gonna keep the same right hand chord. We're gonna go to a, a F sharp bass. And that pick up, just get back to the next part of the verse. And that's gonna be a, a F sharp in the bass. And then you're gonna have an E triad, the same E triad. E, G sharp, and B. So F the sharp, sharp not sus. Four, okay. So let's try it. Dun, 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 dun. Um, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 d
the same thing. Okay. the same thing but this time we goes i'll follow you so that's gonna be an e triad remember we we, we holding the same right hand chord and then we're gonna go to an e bass follow you and then we're gonna keep the same right hand chord again to the f sharp to the moon and the skies okay and then you go back to the b above so let me show the second half that's the second half of the, of the um verse Same thing. Now this time we do the pickup that we did to get to the verse. This chord, okay? Which we learned already, which is the D sharp. Um, non sus. So you got the F, G sharp, and C sharp, and that's pretty much the um, how the verses flow. So I'm gonna play one more time. Dun, 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 dun. That's a little lick they do. Uh, so I'll give you that little lick. So that's pretty much you flicking from the C sharp to the D sharp. So C sharp flicks. So boom, to the D sharp, D land on the B, and then you got G sharp, F sharp. So, and that comes in, uh, right here, okay, right there, uh, one more time, okay, comes in right there. So, um, so I'm playing through it. Um, okay. That's the first time, second time. Second time he does this, it's the same thing. Just take it to the bridge. Sorry, just take it to the bridge. This chord. So this this chord takes you back to the verse, or takes you to the bridge sometimes. So it's like um, you know you'll hear the the, the change because it's very distinct. So they'll use this chord to go back to the um to get to the the second verse, or sometimes. Um, in the middle of the verse, they use this chord. So, like, you know, you'll hear the difference between these two chords in the song, you know. But I played through it in the beginning anyway, so you could kind of revert back to that. So, um, so anyway, after you finish that little pass through. It's like you literally like once you get this part, you got like probably ninety percent of the song. That's the bridge. Love is so amazing. It's the same chord, so you got the E minus uh, D sharp minor seven. Love is so amazing. E major. Back to the e, D sharp minor, C sharp minor. Da -da -da -da. Back to the E. Now you stay here. That love is gonna be the uh, D sharp non sus. So truly it's major. Are you 
already know these chords. Stay there. Alright. Real simple. I'm gonna play through it without singing. Sorry, let's go to the minor. So, sorry, it's kind of hard to do without singing. Go to the minor. Okay. okay. All right. So basically, just going back and forth between the E, the E. I don't keep calling it E. It's uh, actually a D sharp minor seven to the E. And then they're going back to the D sharp, to the C sharp. Then they go back to the, um, they stand on this, on this uh, D sharp. Even though I, I, the air makes you want to go back up to the, to the D, but, or to the E major, but it's really staying on there for the rest of the song or the rest of that bridge. Um, until they go back to the um, top of it. So one more time. You say D flat. Really C sharp, I guess, but because we already using sharp, let's just stay in sharps. All right, so so since we already in sharps, let's stay here. So you got um. All right, so first chord is going to be a C sharp major. Add two, so I got C sharp and I got G sharp. In my left hand, then I got C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, and F are the same note. So it's an F and E sharp, same note, don't get confused. And then I got uh, G sharp. So first chord, okay. And you could kind of just put, like, I hold my chords down so you can place your fingers on the notes so you can, you know, kind of have time to pluck them out if you don't like it, listening to me talk about it or you know you just want to kind of see it and put it down for yourself so that's so why i hold the chords down anyway okay first chord then we got um a sharp minor seven so you got a sharp you got e sharp or f and you got g sharp c sharp and e sharp okay so left hand right hand because all we did was we modulated up a whole step so we went from the key of b skip c up to c sharp okay first chord i gave you that chord already hold this chord for a couple of seconds okay and then we're going to do uh e sharp minor seven so it's really like i said if you look at the, the piano is an f like you know if you don't know what is e sharp like what is e sharp but in this key the e is sharp so um there's no F in this key, so they call it E sharp. Okay. So this is just a, you know, theory, you know, which, you know, people don't really, you rarely use E sharps, man. Like, or you usually don't see stuff like that. But anyway, um, one thing you should look up if you're confused about what E sharp is, this is, it's an inharmonic meaning. It's the two notes, but it's different names. So it's, it can be E sharp or it can just be F natural. So, um, uh, you should probably look up, uh, in harmonics or on, um, in harmonic on YouTube and, um, you know, find a, you know, easy lesson. Shouldn't take too long to understand that concept. Um, but anyway, so here you go E sharp minor seven. So you got the E sharp, the uh, G sharp, the C sharp, um, B sharp, and you got a, uh, uh, 
a D sharp. So it's the same concept for C. So there's no B in this key. So now instead of it being a C here, it's going to be a, a B sharp. So you sharpen the B in this key, okay? So, so you got the E sharp, A sharp, um, E sharp, sorry, G sharp, B sharp, and you got um, you got the D sharp. Because remember, we got a C sharp already in the key, so you can't have a C sharp in the C. Well, technically you can, but just not in this concept. So C sharp already in here. So when you go to the C, it's gonna be B sharp. Crazy, right? Sorry for it's too much, too much theory right now. <laughs> Make my video long again. So anyway, here we go. We almost done. So you got um. Dun, dun. So let me again the, the E sharp minor seven. Then you got the F sharp triad. So you got uh, F sharps, left hand, left hand F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. And then you do the same thing. Uh, okay. Then you got the E sharp again. And then you go down to the D sharp minor seven. Okay. So you got D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. And then you got so amazing. It's gonna be the same right hand chord with the G sharp. So amazing to be loved. G sharp non sus four. Okay. And then you got I follow you. Go back to the F sharp, same right hand chord, and you go back again to the moon and skies above. Okay. Just loop this pattern. guys hope you enjoyed this lesson sorry about that last little bit of theory i might have confused some of you guys but um like i said i always hold my chords down so you can kind of see where i'm going if you don't understand the theory of it this channel is meant to be easy and you know what i mean so if you don't care about theory that's why i got this software to kind of like show you what's going on but anyway guys casual keeper guys signing off hope you enjoyed this lesson like share subscribe show your boy some love help me build this channel peace